Man first landed on the moon 40 years ago, and ever since then the moon has been silent. There's been no humans there, no robots there. Uh, we intend to change that. So we are Astrobotic, and we are uh, creating a mission called Icebreaker to go to the pole of the moon uh, to go after the ice. And we can turn that ice into rocket fuel. You can make that ice into uh, water for astronauts. It really becomes a, a valuable resource toward expanding beyond Earth orbit. We are honing and developing technology for this uh, icebreaker mission. Originally, we had thought of a, a smaller launch vehicle on a smaller scale, a, a multi-staged spacecraft. Um, and what we realized along the way is it just wasn't quite enough to do the job the right way. So we went large scale. Uh, we chose a Falcon 9 for a launch vehicle, and we're using the entirety of the Falcon 9. Uh, we put our lander on top of that, our rover on top of our lander, and, and using that system we're able to deliver uh, hundreds of kilograms of payload to the surface of the moon. Uh, what's going to matter there is a precision landing, so we have to be able to avoid craters, uh, to, we need hazard avoidance to avoid rocks and, and extreme slopes, and then we, we will be developing this summer a robot called Polaris. And that's the robot that's going to be taking a payload across the surface of the moon uh, to drill for ice underneath the pole. Roving at the pole, there's a tremendous amount of the strategy and planning. It is essentially shadow dodging and seeking the sun. Red Whitaker has been chasing the moon for decades. This moon landing it calls to me. It's got my name on it. Well, Red's robots have been on, I think, every continent of the, the world. What natural step better than to advance uh, robotic technology than to take the last step and get to the moon? We will launch on October 17th, 2015 uh, to the pole of the moon. We're going to be around for a long time developing the missions to open up uh, the solar system for years to come. <laughs>